but you always have to have the end in mind of your story or your speech to start it. And that's what life is about. Life is having a destination and then the journey. But it used to really bother me when I finished something in my life that I thought, I have, this is it. I, there's nothing, I, you know, if I do something else, that means I was a failure or I was wrong about what I decided. But Toastmasters taught me that everything is a story. And stories are just that. Once you finish a story, there's going to be another story. That if you only have one story, then that's your life. But life is is like a book. Your life is like a book, and every book has a chapter. And even within the chapter, there are stories. And so when I finished my massage, I started taking yoga, and I realized I love yoga so much. I wanted to share that, so I wanted to teach it. And before Toastmasters, I would have felt like, well, I can't do that because I'm already a massage therapist. I can't be something else. That would be, seem like failure, but it was just another story in my life. And now that I'm a massage therapist and I'm a yoga teacher, there's a, something else that's compelling me to do something more with that, to become more. And I'm not afraid. I've got the courage to go and do something else because of Toastmasters, because it's taught me that it's just one more story in the chapter of my book, of my life. So I want to thank Toastmasters for the consistency, for the confidence, and for the courage I've had over the past 10 years. I want to thank the Toastmasters of 10 years ago who accepted me and loved me and gave me this place to grow. I want to thank you right now, this moment, at this present time, for being here to see the growth and watch me grow more. And I want to thank the Toastmasters 10 years from now that will see a maybe a little bit more improved product, but to be there to cheer me on and be my cheerleaders. I look forward to the next 10 years.